Okay, good morning guys. Happy Thursday. Hopefully you're watching this on Thursday and this is going to add some clarity to yesterday's quiz issues. A lot of good students had some issues on the quiz, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go over the quiz specifically here. The Wednesday quiz will only count for attendance. Everyone will get an asterisk for it. No harm, no foul. And I'm going to run the same exact questions at you today, Thursday. So let's take a look at this video and figure out what's going on. All right, let's take a look over here at what we have. The top, we have a transverse wave. You'll remember in a transverse wave, the disturbance goes perpendicular up and down to the waves travel left to right. So take a look at a point right above this red arrow. It's at rest right now. It goes up, down, and back to normal. Up, down, back to normal. Watch it with the respect to the top of the red arrow. It leaves, it goes above the red arrow tip, down below it, and back to normal. Now, that point really doesn't travel down the wave, down the, the slinky. The energy or disturbance travels, but the mass itself oscillates in place. And you'll watch up, down, and back home. Let's move the arrow here. Click away from it. Up, down, back in place. Ready? Up, down, back in place. Same thing over and over and over. The disturbance travels through the medium left to right. The energy travels left to right. The mass just oscillates up and down. Okay, so waves transfer energy. Same is true down here for a longitudinal wave, although it's a little more difficult to see. Focus on that point. It gets pulled left, right, back, home. All right, it gets pulled left, right, back, home. Or I should say left, right, back, home from your point of view. Okay, been a while since I've been in the classroom. I'm sort of losing my memory that that is to the right. Okay. All right, so that's a general principle. A point oscillates in place, and the energy or disturbance travels for any wave. All right, let's take a peek at what's going on here now. This represents a loudspeaker up here where I'm moving the mouse in super slow motion. The, the paper cone of the speaker shown in red thrust outward, goes back to green equilibrium, inward the cone recesses inward basically like so guys thump 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 where this is the equilibrium position thump 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 and at any moment in time the speaker cone can be out forward of at or back inside the speaker cabinet okay so the green is an equilibrium mama line and the oscillations occur when the speaker thrusts outward it compresses the air molecules in the room between the speaker and your ear. These are shown by dark areas of high concentration of air molecules. And you'll notice the compressions travel left to right. Well, it stands to reason that if, and hopefully you watch the video before mine here from that other gentleman, when you compress an area of the slinky, you rob from Peter to take Paul, you must take springs from the left and right of the compression, making those stretched out or lower pressure or greater distance between the molecules. So the result is this sine wave of areas of high compression, high air pressure, and areas of lower air pressure with, this is what we missed yesterday, this horizontal line, being atmospheric pressure, 1 atm. 1 atm here, so any crest is higher than 1 atm, and any trough is greater than zero, but less than 1 atm. How do we know it's greater than zero? Because there's air in the room. If someone's playing music, thump, 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 you can still breathe. Your ears are the world's most sensitive barometers they detect minute changes in air pressure, slightly above atmospheric, slightly below atmospheric. Okay, what do we have on this slide? Well, here's the air pressure, and here's the human ear, and here is the speaker playing music, okay? We've taken the liberty of representing sound as a transverse wave. Question number one on the quiz. Sound is a longitudinal wave 
but an oscilloscope or a graph is more convenient to do as a transverse wave, sine or cosine, to talk about crest, trough, wavelength, amplitude, things like that. It's a little more difficult here to talk about uh, wavelength. It turns out it's from here to here, from, from dark to dark, or middle of the light to middle of the light, corresponding point to corresponding point. Much easier to see on a transverse wave. Here's the wavelength. Here's the amplitude. Here's a trough. This is an antinode. This is a node. It's much easier with transverse waves, and that's why we do that. Okay, bottom line. When the speaker thrusts outward and compresses the air, as shown here above the red arrow, that corresponds to this point here of high pressure. When the speaker is in between compressions, it's called a rarefaction. It's an area of minimum pressure here. The pressure is greater than zero, but less than one ATM. Well, if there are areas of high pressure here and areas of low pressure here, any of these points, any of these nodal points on mama herself are nodes, area of node displacement. Things are normal, one ATM. Okay, so any of the nodes are 1 ATM here, here, any of the antinodes, you have to be careful. This antinode is much above 1 ATM, and not, not very much above. Your ear can sense it, uh, maybe not a barometer that we have in school. And then this is a little below atmospheric pressure down here. So I hope that clears up the issue. I think that's the last slide we have for you. In summary, real quick, the compressions where the molecules are pushed together closer than normal, reflect in a transverse representation as an area of slightly higher than one ATM, greater than one ATM. The areas in between where the air is a little thin are here as the trough, areas less than one ATM. The normal spots lie along mama, the equilibrium position, here, 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 et cetera, and they are exactly one ATM. The horizontal axis is atmospheric pressure, one ATM. All right, that's all I have for you today. It's Thursday, 521. I hope this lets you get an easy five out of five today. Thanks, guys.